Hi everyone, welcome to Humber TV. Today is our very first psychic night and it's all about interactive psychics. We've got Edwina and Edwina is actually, your, your background is about sort of organising interactive psychic nights like this, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah, it is, yeah. Um, I've worked in uh, interactive TV and with psychics now for about eight years on uh, some of your mainstream channels. So, and people like this sort of thing? Yeah, very, very much so. When we first launched um, a Psychic Show, there was a team of us and... Obviously, people are very sceptical about things. People feel very, a bit nervous, especially when it comes to doing TV stuff. So it sort of took some time for people to really get a, a, a good feel for the show itself. And as time went on and by or the audience getting more and more involved, Psychics obviously built up a good reputation, which then people kept coming back because everybody's life circumstances and situations are different. And one of the things I found, because I was sort of behind the camera for a period of time and then I became in front of the camera, and when I did that, I actually realised there's a lot of people out there who do feel that they want answers to something. And a lot of people go and look at religion, a lot of people maybe speak to their family members, they speak to their friends, but everybody's got their own personal experience and their own opinion of something. And it wasn't until I started on that show that I was able to sort of realise the spirituality side of it and how, you know, just by going, oh, have I got a new man coming down the road for me or, or am I going to meet somebody? There was some really serious issues that came through. And but when you say the spirituality, you mean that people actually found it actually helped them with moving yeah, on in life? Yeah, very, very much so. But I think... You know, like we were discussing, Valerie, before, you've got to be very, very careful because there is a lot of vulnerable people out there who don't have anybody to speak to. They may have thousands of friends around them, but they feel so isolated. And by not going to the doctor and speaking to a counsellor and waiting for two or three months, they're able to pick up the phone, speak to a psychic, be able to get that validation by that psychic tuning into them and then helping them step by step through little difficult parts of their life. Because I've been a single mum, I've got twin boys, and uh, at one period in my life, I was physically and emotionally exhausted. Came in, dropped on the floor, couldn't move, and a friend of mine said, look, you maybe should see the doctor. I said, look, I'm just tired. Anyway, she had a psychic come around and see me. I'd never had a psychic reading before, didn't really know much about how she was gonna do things. And she sat with me for three hours, and I cried and cried and cried. Not because she was telling me anything horrible, because she became like a counsellor, because she was able to not just give answers to questions I was asking, but she was able to make me sort of clear my emotions of all the tiredness and how drained I felt and um, I owe a lot to that psychic because she was the one who inspired me to move to London and uh, work in TV especially when my kids were five then. Well so she's so, like helped transform mm, your life. She did you know confidence. what I've never seen her again since and it's a shame because mm -hmm. she's from Hull. She is from really? Hull. Yes yeah. she is and uh, she really did and I cannot to this day Remember what she actually said to me? There was only one point she said to me was, she said, uh, what do you want to do? I said, I want to work in TV. And she said, well, why can't you? I said, well, I've got twin boys. There's nothing really available for me up here. I'd like to live in London. I'd like to experience a different life. And she, um, she said, why can't you do it? I said, I can't, I've got two kids. And she went, are you disabled? Do you need somebody to look after you? Who looks after you now? And I said... Well, no, just me, really. Mm -hmm. And I look after the boys. I manage stuff. Um, the boys' dad was around, so that, that wasn't an issue at all. But for an individual wanting to achieve something, and she said, well, there's no such word as can't. There's just do. Mm. And if you want to do it, you will do it. And a lot of people were like, you're nuts, you're off your head, you're mad, you're barking, you know, what do you think you're doing? You know, the streets are paved with gold. It wasn't that. It was really hard work. But it worked for me. You know, and uh, that's my, my yeah. experience. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying anybody who's watching, gosh, you've all got to speak to a psychic if you're troubled, mm -hmm. all these problems. I'm not saying that, but I think with my circumstances and my situation, it worked for me. Mm -hmm. And when I was able to present on the show and, and work on the show, what really helped was it was something where there was other people out there who were relating to my particular situation. So they didn't feel isolated mm -hmm. and alone. And I think that's what really sort of works, really. 
But with interactive psychic, like the interactive psychic, psychic evenings, there's actually things that we can't, that aren't to be talked about, and like you said, like pregnancy. Yeah, there's things like, for example, you're not allowed to talk about finance, health, pregnancy. Um, this, I think I've covered all those areas, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. Because obviously, financially, if somebody was to say, you know, am I going to win the lottery? Mm. And a psychic said, yes, you are. And it might be, you might be winning mm -hmm. £10. But you go and spend all your money, take loads of loans out and think, great, fantastic, I'm mm. off. Mm. You know, and then you don't win it. Then, you know, that actually could be very detrimental to that person. The other thing with health problems, you know, uh, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, Salisha, mm. is nobody, not one person I've had a reading with or ever experienced a psychic in saying you're going to have two weeks to live. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no way that anybody who is psychic, there's no way I believe spiritually that somebody can come and say, no, you're going to predict that person's going to die. You can't do mm. that. And obviously pregnancy, I, I am aware that psychics can make those sort of predictions but they're not allowed to because of certain regulations that are in place and I don't think it's a bad thing mm. I think mm -hmm. it's good yeah. because no matter in what industry you're in or whatever you're doing you know this should be a certain amount of rules and I think that's something you know that you, you have to have to a certain degree I do mm. what do you think yeah, no, I think it is, but the, like, really, I would like to know, if, like, you know, if I'm going to be a millionaire and what if I'm going to have a baby boy? Because <laughs> 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 they can't all the questions I want to know. <laughs> I mean, all this coming in, I'm sorry. I want to see if I'm going to have that boy child or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but uh, Alicia, one of the things that, I, you know, I know from doing psychic stuff and things like that, because the one thing we were discussing before,